You see, you see nothing. Go away. Can you? Thank you. Hello everyone, Simulator here. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. This campfire is quite dangerous. Hardy little plant. You'll help. Alright. Let's head over to Thunder's Drum and see what see what awaits us there. Okay, finally we got here. Jesus. The campfire discovered. Good. Got some blue gleam. Might as well trade it. Outlanders have. Talk to our attack, that's optional. Which one's our attack? You're in the cut. You look so frail now. <laughs> if Umnak couldn't take down the claws beneath, what makes anyone else think they have a chance? Hello. You're all bullet villagers? <clears throat> All right, what can I get with the blue uh, blue gleam that I have? A new bow. First blue gre uh, gleam trade. Cool. Is that it? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, thank you. Uh, increased damage, yes. Increased damage even further, yes. Yes, add that on. Sounds like it might be a good idea. Oh, is that the one I have equipped now? No. It's not the one I have equipped now. Shadow Hunter Bird. Is that the one I just bought? I think it is, isn't it? No, it's not. No, that's the one I just bought. Okay, it did it automatically. Never mind, I'm being. I'm being dumb. Long Notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are watching for more frost claws. Our numbers rise. Three more. But our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with this course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's Drum. 
It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, she's adept with machines. Tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit, her purpose. But now that's all she has. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a great door, some kind of cauldron, new metal. We tried to break through, but it was unflinching. We were exhausted, no way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Araya to that again. What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal, that dead hum. Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death, that's what the mountain holds. Death for us or for the daemon. And if we do find the spirit? Then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Hmm. Someone has to keep Araya safe. I would say so. Oof! What's this? Yes, I will have that, thank you. Grab all the things I can. Bloody hell, it's dark up here. Aloy, this is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider. Someone ignorant of our ways but no not ignorant i are you trying to thank me Araya? yes of course <laughs> that's what you do untangle knots create possibilities thank you for making this pilgrimage possible i only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate our attack you were wise to let him come He's earned the right, stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. Aratok told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. It sounded bad. For Aratok, it all comes back to that. He thinks the Karja changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. When all else is lost, you think about what's truly important. The spirit. The blue light. The beyond. And my brother, too. Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him. Worried for him. What did the war do to Aratok? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No Banuk has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. 
He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? Hmm. What are we gonna find up there, Rhea? Ruins. Machines. And a door. Like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. For beyond it lies the spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt the daemon has tried to hide the way. I was wondering if you knew anything about a man named Silence. I think he's Banuk. Or at least he looks that way. That is not something I can talk about outside the Conclave. Conclave? A gathering of prominent shamans in Banor. They have sworn me to secrecy on this matter. But I'm your chieftain. And I wouldn't ask unless I needed to know. What you want is no small thing. But it would seem that I have little choice. Silence came to Ban Or from the distant north. A young shaman of the Owl's Watch. A remote Warrick that rarely comes south to parley. Silence was a shaman. He was. Or at least, when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and... He was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but that was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmstrom. A month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, the caves had been looted. Relics of the old world stolen. Holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him were gone. As though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous. But also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. Anyone else I would warn off. But you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. Yeah. That sounds about right. I knew it. I knew he was he couldn't be trusted. Just something about him was just off, you know. It hasn't been easy for you, Horea. Getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, we both will. I'd like that. Are you ready then? Once we ascend, it will be hard to turn back. Let's go. Finally, we ascend. How? I don't see a way up. Not up. Through. Now, brother! Ah!
again. So you see, I too can call upon the power of the old ones. <laughs> what was this place? The spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. A fortress that defended humankind from terrible danger. A fortress? It looks more like a machine. Is that not fitting? The blue light often dwells in machines. Well, let's just hope that some remains here. Hold on, let me do an explore. Once these halls rang with the spirit's presence. Between up and over. Ah, here we go. Ah, I see. machines and of course they're demonic ones three strikes from above Okay, so we're going to have to engage them. There's no getting around it.
We must climb higher, and our path will become clear. And what's in here? If the chief's pace is measured, ours is measured. All right, this takes us back out here. That's fine. All right, your yes, this way. jumping and climbing ability is a bit restrained. There might be the limitations of the, of the PS4 hardware though. Not much farther now. Oh wow. Last we were here, we fought our way through there, but machines overcame us. We retreated, dropping supplies and taking losses. Now we must prevail, with only two warriors and a shaman to protect. Aloy is no ordinary warrior. And I can hold my own. Even so, we could go that way instead. There are machines up there, but also cover. We could stay hidden, at least for a while. All right, I get the options. And I'll follow my lead. I'm sure we will. If he's going to come back, I can take him over. Come on. Oh no, I can't take these guys over because they're demonic ones. Fair enough. Lucky there's lots of cover here. Where are you going? There we go. 
Oh, purple. There's a door up ahead in refuge. We're almost through. Technically, I can't suspend the cooling system, but I can reduce the power draw so that it'll be completely masked by the caldera. But masked from what? The firebreak has always been confidential for security reasons, but this would be excessive. Even for the dear departed Mr. Blevins. What could possibly have gotten Anita so worked up? Ah, that dick Mr. Blevins copped it, did he? Wish I could say I'm sorry about that, but I'm really not. Right, so that's the door we need to go through. Nothing else here. Full already. Anything back here? It looks like it might be the other way through. Anything in here? Just a supply crate. Is this a projector? Maybe to share holograms without focus. Let's see if I can restore power. Aratak Araya. You might see shapes drawn from light. Don't be alarmed. It'll take more than light to alarm me. Thank you for being here, everyone. I suppose it's not every day you get to have cocktails inside an active volcano, right? <laughs> Unless you're George, and I can hardly blame him for drinking on the job. <laughs> None of this would be here without our beloved director, Kenny Chow. So, here's to you, Kenny. <laughs> you put a cork in the Yellowstone Caldera. <laughs> I'd say you deserve a margarita. Hold <laughs> your glasses, everyone. I'd like to add something. This effort wouldn't have been possible without our lead programmer. Thank you, Anita, for bringing us our real mastermind, Cyan. I'll second that, Director Chow. All right, Cyan, what's our latest number? The current count is 1,654. <laughs> <laughs> well, then drink up, everyone. Here's to 1,654 more years without an eruption. <laughs> so the spirit's called Cyan. It was the spirit. The old ones. I could only grasp some of what they said. You were right, Aria. This place was built to stop something terrible. And it worked. As for the spirit. I'm starting to get an idea of what it could be. The door is open now. We can get through. Alright, so Cyan was designed to uh, hold off Yellowstone's eruption. I think I'm. Carve through a lot of machines to get to that door. That's what I'm getting from it anyway. Aloy will see us through. Onward then. Our challenge awaits. The geothermal plant can be suspended. Cooling system masked. Massive challenges solved. So why am I so nervous about the next part? All I need to do is install Anita's mysterious software and have a conversation. It's not even a human being, right? Hmm. Alright, there's the cauldron door.
I'll take this with me just in case there's any more. One of you two must have been spotted because they sure as hell didn't spot me. Alright, let's get inside. More machines. Make ready. Come on. Here we go, we're it. Oh shit. It's like a virus or something. Completed the second expedition. Years have passed since I stood here. Since then, the daemon has taken over. It's like an infection. Attacking all this machinery. Everything has changed. It's twisted. The path I took to get to the spirits. Lost to us. We'll find a new path, Aurea. I promise. All right, let's go. Yes, and finish this. I wonder if this has got anything to do with the software that Kenny was talking about. A neater software to install in Cyan. New side quest, the Forge of Winter. To rescue Sion and learn the true nature of the daemon, Aloy and her companions must fight their way through the cauldron beneath Thunder's drum. Alright. I know this is technically a side quest, but I feel like this one's important to the story, so I will make an exception for this one. No, you're you're just a supply crate. Here we go. This should get me up there. Okay. Let's see what this does. 
This should be the one, hopefully. Whoops. Damn machines. Oh no, we're not doing any damage, it's on those ones. Okay, why am I down here? in case I fall down here. All oh, right, I see what I need to do. I see. Supposed to be good at this jumping lark. Really? I'm pretty sure that's what I need to be doing. Ah, uh, hold on. Ah. Uh, right idea, wrong location. Uh, drop down there to activate the bridge. Okay, let's get them across. Come on over, it's safe. Let's see what this does. Successful. Restraints evaded to any human responder. My systems have been compromised by a malware daemon of unknown origin. Trace routes have confirmed this entity's designation as Hephaestus. It must be stopped at all costs. It has reconfigured this facility to build possible Recapture imminent. I have attached additional data to this. The spirit speaks to us. It's recording.
Hmm. Interesting. There's two of you. What are you guys weak to? Machines, jeez, I do not like these dudes. Scorchers, yeah, not not a fan. Yeah, I don't want to raid it. No, Aloy, this. Why did you have to die here, you prick? Oh, this is going to be a long one, isn't it? Aloy, climb. How back are you going to put me? Might have to fight those damn things again. No. All right, good. Try this again. Ah, I 
I'm an idiot. You thought I'd have learned by now. Yellow glowy things are things I can climb. Are my companions with me? Where are they? Oh no, they're down here. I need to get away and I'll walk across. Yep. Oh. Should do it. There we go. I did the thing. Good, good stuff. Was it you who did that last time? I can't remember. Don't fall down there, that looks painful. for a way to defeat the demon. Got to be close to the end of this one now, so we'll push on. Dumped here to be melted down. Efficient. We need to get across that gap. Yeah. Looks like I'll have to go over. Others? No. Are you going to come back down? Thank you. That's fine then. Oh. Uh, no, I don't want to be going this way yet, do I? I want to go up there. Oh, wait, hold on. Up and around. There 
There we go. Thanks for pointing that out, Aloy. I would have missed that otherwise. Oh, come on. I could have made that, surely. There we go. Okay. I mean, there was one closer to you. Drop Aloy. Okay, what do you do? doing okay I'm guessing I actually do need to go this way drop Aloy Why is the encoder overloading? Bloody hell. Yeah, it's because this is go going on for almost an hour. My computer... No! <laughs> Fuck! My computer doesn't like long recordings for some reason. I can't afford a new graphics card, so you're going to have to make do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here because I, I get paranoid when that warning comes up. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.